today what I wanted to talk about uh, quickly was a little bit about the tries and where they're coming from especially with as we've seen last week and if you read last week's blog about the penalties it's quite significant to see that there's been a very big swing in terms of what's happened with penalties within the modern game at the moment very quickly just to touch on that during the Super uh, uh, 14 last year you probably had about an average of 50% of the penalties going to defence and 50% of the penalties going to the attacking team this year it's quite different in fact you're probably looking at about 78 of the penalties going towards the attacking team. In fact, one referee this weekend gave 22 penalties in a, in a game. All 22 penalties were in favour of the attacking team. In other words, against the defending team. Full War this week came out with, with, uh, with quite a strong comment after the Storms game, saying that he felt that that was not fair and that it wasn't a contest anymore. I think there's a bit of merit in what Phil said. And I think what you're probably going to find is that in time the pendulum swung quite far and I think it's just going to settle down a little bit within the next couple of weeks. But we'll monitor it every single week for you here on Rugby IQ. But what we want to chat about quickly today is about where the tries are coming from. The first two weeks of Super 14 has produced 82 tries. Quite a significant amount of tries, certainly a lot more than last year. What I thought I'd do is I'd go through three, three aspects of what, what's happening with tries. The first thing I do is I want to share with you where they're coming from. In other words, what's the source of the try? Does it come from a turnover, a kick receipt? Does it come from a, uh, from, from, from a team making a mistake and making a turnover at the tackle? Or just a general knock on the opposition team, picking it up, playing advantage and scoring? So I'm just going to refer to the computer as I chat to you as well. As you can see over here, here's the origins of the tries. Let's take a look on the left hand side what those are. There's 13 areas that we've decided uh, tries can originate from. They can originate from line outs, scrums, quick line outs. That's if the ball's kicked out and the line out hasn't formed and someone's throw the ball in quickly. Quick tap, as in penalties, and quick taps, as in free kicks. It's interesting to, uh, it's, it's significant to differentiate between these two because the penalties that you take quick taps, it's also interesting to monitor if there were kickable opportunities that you've decided to rather take a quick tap with. Kick returns, kick regains, receiving kickoffs, receiving 22 kickoffs, uh, kick off regain, in other words, it's your kickoff that you've regained possession, turnovers through a ruck or a mall, and turnovers just in general play, that's if the opposition team just knocks the ball on, and then turnovers in set pieces. What's really significant to have a look at, if I highlight the box, block over here, is that scrums heads the list of 21%, uh, followed closely by 18%. Again, only 82 tries, so it's not a very significant number, but it's certainly higher than it was last year, as I mentioned earlier. So together, excuse me, you've got uh, uh, j j just on 40% of, of tries coming from set piece lineouts and set piece scrum of your, of your own ball, which is quite interesting. Here, this is certainly the most interesting thing for me so far, and, and what's significantly different in the 2010 Super 14 to date, is that these three areas over here, these turnover areas, the turnovers from the Ruxham Mall, general players, set pieces, which is just generally turnovers. It's covered all turnovers over there, with the exception of the fact that teams maybe have kicked the ball away. But I'm talking about within general play situation, where at the breakdown you've turned the ball over, or you've lost a line-out or a scrum, or as I said earlier, if you've just knocked the ball on. That figure is only 26%. That figure was consistently in the last couple of years has been up 45-50%. And uh, that's interesting to see. That's really interesting to see.